In the southern part of Hungary, there is an ethnic group who live near the town of Kolochok. Surrounded by characteristic country, these people have formulated a unique style of folk art visible in their painted furniture and embroidered clothes, and also on their painted walls. This is what they call pingalash. This is a Catholic population, while the people of the surrounding area are Protestant. They have distinguished themselves by their costume ever since the mid-19th century. But they differed in their songs and dances, as well as in their costume, and retained this till the middle of the 20th century. The way in which coloured wall painting and the art of embroidery came about and combined was particularly interesting. Women passed it on from generation to generation. First, I draft it for the little girl. She is just learning how to draw it nicely. Red, this is pink, this will be blue. Here on the top, a bunch of lilies of the valley. This is drafting. I first do it in pencil, then in ink. I work with this old pen because it is easy to wash out. What I am drawing now is called Lilies of the Valley. I would like my little granddaughter to learn, but she is still at school. But I can see it is in her genes. This is a forget-me-not, embroidered in blue. This is a little bud, it is flame-coloured. This is a red rose. That is a yellow tulip. Then you have to watch which goes best with the pink, blue or purple. The drafts person knows all this and makes the pattern just right. Then the embroiderers make the patterns that way. Nem lilára kell kivarnom, hanem kékre. <gül> Ez meg sárgára. Zöld levél, no, ugye az is ott van. A kézvaró tudja, hogy melyik a zöld része a gép. The women on the sewing machines knew which part of the pattern they could cut out and which needed to be embroidered. They never make a mistake.
This is the country where the famous paprika of Kolacha is grown. This spice provides the unique flavour and lovely red colour of several Hungarian dishes, such as chicken paprikash and goulash. An indispensable dish at Kolacha weddings was paprikash, made in large cauldrons. The meat was slightly hot with this spice, which is a characteristic produce of the local farms. Growing paprika requires special expertise, so this is also part of the local intangible culture. In this part of the country, they don't only wear coloured folk costumes for festive occasions. These beautiful items are part of everyday life. Naturally, if a member of the local folk ensemble had their wedding, they put on the most splendidly embroidered pieces. The costumes of the ensemble who perpetuate the traditional songs and dances were embroidered by the local women. In the 1970s, those old or middle-aged men were still alive who knew the traditional local dancing style and guaranteed the continuity of the tradition. Why is it possible to retain the art tradition of the area of Kolacha? Because the people shaping this folk art are still alive. There are several people in all branches of folk art who are still active. In fact, there are families where the art of wall painting, embroidery or wood carving is being passed on. There are families where this culture is simply there in the genes. If we could reinstate these local products and if we could reinstate the life of the waters around here, in other words, we could restore the balance of the ecosystem. We would also like to invite people from outside. That would enable us to create lots of jobs. So, we are planning on restoring buildings which are suitable for the plans of the community. We know that places can confirm identity. So we could partly keep the elements of traditional architecture, but adapt them to making a communal space to house various events and welcome families and other larger groups. In this way, we could demonstrate the reinvigorated natural environment, the food, the local folk crafts, embroidery and wall painting. These could be the foundations for a comprehensive combined cultural offering that will give anybody a special glimpse into the culture of the Kolacha region and through that into Hungarian culture and European culture.